I spent $210 on these two pounds of LEGO Mini Favorite Pieces, and in this video, we're about to find out if this was worth it or a complete waste. Without further ado, let the unboxing begin. First of all, we have this 2003 Jabba the Hutt from the Jabba's Palace, and this is the OG version, really cool. Next up, we have a Boga, and this one has the saddle, so this is really cool. Just the little beast we've seen in the General Grievous bike from 2005, and I love the sound effects of those beasts. The tail actually rotates as well, so that's pretty cool. I think with the saddle, this one goes for about $20, but I'll be putting the prices as usual. And it's actually quite funny because we have a second one right here. Here's the tail, and that one seems to be complete as well. So we got two of these. That's so random because it's exclusive to one set, right? The General Grievous Chase in 2005, so I'm not sure why we have two, but I'll take them. And this one's missing a piece of his tail, so hopefully I can find it somewhere. Next up is another cool one, and this time it's the dewback. I think it's missing a piece right here but aside from that it seems pretty complete. Once again it has a saddle and it has this right here which is worth about five dollars I believe so it's a nice piece. This one was released in a couple of sets and you can sell it for like 40 bucks when it has the saddle and this piece. Now aside from this guy right here this is I think Ant-Man but just a buildable figure of this guy. Hopefully the other arm is in there. I can't seem to find it as of now but it's still a great character. And now I think that's it for the big figurines. We have all the pieces. So let's see if there's anything that's cool in there. Anything worth something. We have this little lightning piece. Nothing too crazy about that one. I bought this completely blind. I have no idea if there's even a cool piece, but I saw one piece right here. There you go. This is like the Eye of Sauron. I forget the name of it though, but it's still a great piece. So we found at least one. Hopefully there's some other cool ones in there. I think uh, the Eye of Sauron goes for about five bucks. This is quite random. This is a Playmobil. I had that set when I was younger. This is a torso and legs from a Harry Potter minifigure. I've had it in the past, but I can't find her head, unfortunately. We had this sword. This is always nice to have. This is one that Aragorn has and a bunch of the Lord of the Rings minifigures. This is cool. I've never seen that one before. Not sure if it's a Playmobil. It probably is, but if it's a Lego, that's a cool one as well. We have a crossbow, which is pretty cool. And we have this bow, a golden bow. So some cool accessories, but nothing too fancy for the minifigures as of now. This Viking helmet is pretty cool as well. Not sure if it's a Lego though. Seems more like a Playmobil. I feel like there's a bunch of Playmobil pieces in there. I got scammed. Playmobil is not worth nearly as much as Lego when it comes to pieces. Oh, this is actually an elf head. Those go for quite a bit. I think they're like $3, but this one's damaged, so it's pretty worthless, unfortunately. But if you get one in good condition, it's at least $3, if not more. Yeah, so I can't find anything else that's very cool. Like we have this castle torso, but that's not worth much. I think the value was really in the big minifigures we've seen in the beginning. And then we have a glow-in-the-dark spider, so that might be an interesting piece. I'll have to check. But yeah, aside from that, I'm not seeing much. So I guess the highlight were both Boga. We'll have to find the little tail. And of course, the do-back was very nice, as well as this Jabba the Hutt minifigure. So I think this is uh, this is the main reason I bought this slot. I bought it a while ago, but I was hoping there would be some nice minifigures and there are nice pieces, I mean, but there wasn't much. So that's the risk you're running when you're purchasing a big lot like this one. You don't know what you're getting, right? So you could get an extremely rare piece that's worth a lot. You could get pieces that are worth 40 bucks, 30 bucks. But in this case, I guess we got unlucky and I did not find much. So let me know in the comments if I missed something because there's a lot of pieces I just don't know about. So maybe there's something that's rare, like this paw right here, for instance, but I just don't have any clue. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe for more. And here's another Lego haul unboxing you can watch. So I'll see you there. Have a good one. Bye-bye.